and welcome back to my channel my name is Nakia if you do not know who I am I am the owner beyond the skin the owner of this channel which I'll be dropping some gems just getting back in the groove of filming videos so bear with me I probably will be all over the place a little bit nervous but yeah your girl just picked up some Starbucks and I went to Target as you can see like these big opens in the back and I was like you know what I brought my camera why not film let me quench my thirst <laughs> So yeah, basically uh, this video is going to be the second video I have posted. I don't know if I'm going to delete the first one. I'm not sure. It's probably going to stay. Probably not. This video is pretty much going to be me talking about how to run a small business. Things you should do with your business if you do own a business because there's different things in entrepreneurship, obviously. But for me, my skincare brand, business, just going to go over a little bit of things that are important and that helped me. I'm just going to spread a little gems for you. I'll make more in-depth videos as we go. So if you guys have any questions or you know want things more in detail, got my phone so I have little notes in here because I'm going to try to stay on topic because I could just ramble. If you know me, I can talk for like hours and hours and hours and hours. I think I just like to hear myself talk low-key. If you see me looking around, I'm literally parked in like a parking lot so I'm like trying to be aware of my surroundings. We're just going to go straight into it. So number one thing that has helped me the most is definitely email and text marketing. Um, I'm gonna try to post like the actual app that I use I don't know how to do that I don't really know how to edit edit videos so we're gonna <laughs> before I put this out I'll definitely have it like somewhere here we're gonna learn how to do that I'll show you the app that I use if you do have Shopify for your business one of the apps that is a third-party app inside there I don't know how much I'm gonna say app, 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 app. anyway <laughs> so yes email and text marketing is essential guys you cannot only rely on social media because if that was taken away tomorrow you would need something to fall back on which will be your email email text messaging which I have through the app so I think at this point I think I have maybe close to 2,000 if I haven't hit 2,000 um, email and text messages lists which is pretty decent it took me a while to get there so for me that's a big accomplishment that's 2,000 people that I have literally linked to my email so if I send out a discount or any type of informational email for having a sale what have you not they will literally get it directly to their phone versus me posting something on social media and based on the algorithm they may not even see it so definitely good to have them I know TikTok has crashed before and people were like in a frenzy because they didn't know what to do so in that matter Email and text messaging will be very important for your business. You definitely need that. Please, 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 please keep that in mind. Again, you can send sales. There's different things I can show on the app. I'll probably post it here too, but they have like, if customers abandon their checkout carts, it'll automatically, I have it set for them to receive another email, maybe like three days later to say, hey, just checking in. You left these things in your cart, so forth, so forth. And then there's other ones where you have a customer that hasn't shopped with you maybe like 60 or 90 days and it'll automatically send out an email to them just to check on them and see how their last purchase was and you know sometimes that can turn into another sale. And then let me give you another example. What another example? Definitely, oh, welcoming your um, customers that sign up for your email or text messaging list. It automatically, I have, it automatically send um, an email and text with a discount code for your first purchase. So that's another good one. So definitely 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 make sure you get that what do we have next so let's see let's see let's see uh, live streams oh my god most of you are subscribed to me probably because I mentioned my YouTube channel on TikTok so yes thank you all for following me I was struggling I was on a struggle bus I have like, like 25 people but again, I wasn't consistent on YouTube, so that is my fault. But thank you to all the new subscribers. I'm trying to get to a thousand, so help your girl out if you're seeing this and you didn't come from my TikTok. You just so happened to be recommended this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And you see, I done rambled, 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 and got away from the topic. So yes, live streams. So I'm usually on TikTok Live, and let me tell you... <laughs> Not the singing. Uh, <laughs> let me tell you. I think I started going on right before my birthday. So I want to say March. I really, really took it 
like seriously and started going on live stream on TikTok. Oh my God, guys. It literally changed my business. Like I was on a struggle bus before that. Like I got sales here and there, but now it's like so consistent. So please, I promise you, if you're an introvert and shy like me, which I am, I don't even know how I'm talking to you guys on this camera right now because it feels so awkward. I'm in a parking lot sitting here talking to a camera and no one's here with me. People's probably looking at me like, what is this girl talking to? Who cares? I'm trying to help you guys out and share my knowledge. If you're an introvert and shy like me, and you're like, you know, I don't want to be the face of my brand. I don't, cause I was just like that. I was like, I don't want to be the face of my brand. I wanted it to be like a mystery, which did not work out for me. So I was like, no, Nikki, you need to be the face of your brand. You really have to just put that aside and make yourself uncomfortable and go on live stream. The first time I did it, uh, it was, it was it was very nerve-wracking I'm not gonna lie I maybe got on and it was about 20 people out of nowhere like 500 people came on like at one time and I was sitting I was like, uh, 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 uh. if you are watching this and you're an OG that started out with me on TikTok you definitely know how nervous I was I am still nervous to this day if I don't like remain consistent by going on there definitely guys I'm like I don't this whole list that I have here if I can like recommend anything that is the number one thing do live stream I'm telling you it's gonna change your business you get to interact with your customers you get to answer questions they may have I have customers that abandoned their checkout maybe like 12 times but then they hopped on my live stream and they was able to talk to me about skin conditions they had and you know also small businesses some people are a little wary about purchasing online from small businesses they were able to see me i'm a real person and genuine and they were just like you know what like just based on talking to you you know what i'm gonna go buy your your um your mask like you seem genuine like you know they may have been all the thoughts they may have had like mm, i don't know i mean honestly my business doesn't give off that it looks like a scam because i took a lot of time to make it look professional but you know some people are still worried they're like mm, i don't know if i want to spend my dollar all right guys i'm back uh, my camera apparently overheated because I have it on the dashboard of the um, the car so the sun is like maybe if I no because then that gives me the perfect lighting all right I'm gonna try to finish this up so back um, to what I was saying just talking to the customer um, via stream they're able to get to know you and who's behind the face of the brand and it's a little you know it's a lot more trustworthy to them they're able to see and interact with me um, so definitely live streams are essential Next up, I'm gonna try to hurry up so that this doesn't happen again. I would definitely say be consistent with posting on all social media platforms, whether that's Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. I personally don't really use Facebook. I probably should, but I mostly use TikTok. Um, I did kind of stay away from Instagram. I don't know, for me, it wasn't working so much. Also, I was going like crazy at one point being consistent and you know, they were saying push reels, push reels, which I was doing, I was getting views. But I, it wasn't the, I was getting followers and likes, but it wasn't turning over to sales. Not sure what it was, maybe because it's just, I don't know. I, I have no idea. The algorithm maybe wasn't working. I don't know. Um, so that's when I kind of like went over to TikTok and TikTok's been showing me all the love and I was um, being consistent on there. I also started using Pinterest before I was like posting consistently and then I fell out and then I basically started it again I've actually went to go look at the analytics and I've made some sales from Pinterest so Pinterest is another slept on app make sure you go and check it out there too because you can get verified with your business and it can do like a shop within Pinterest so that's definitely a good thing interact with your customers make sure you're talking to them in the comments liking their comments answering DMs I get a lot of DMs believe it or not you would think people would actually hit me up <laughs> with my business email on my website and chat that I have the live chat but lately I've been getting a lot of DMs with questions like hey I have this skin condition what could help so definitely make sure you are engaging and interacting with all your customers on every single platform be consistent be consistent show up show out literally like as cliche as that sound be consistent uh, next up we have is finding and understanding your target audience this is probably my second thing i would say like i highly recommend um when i started i didn't know my customer it's something i mean i watch a lot of videos and they like know who your target audience is and customer and i you know re i took time and i wrote down who they are like age um the age brackets uh where they typically work, what things they like to do in their spare time, all those type of things that created like a whole profile. But I didn't find that customer until, it was basically trial and error. I was able to you know, grab the attention of the core audience and customer that I now have. I can make products to basically help them with what they have going on now versus back then when I was just making products just cause. So 
Like I have a lot of customers that have hyperpigmentation, dark marks, acne, oily skin, sensitive skin. So I'm able to now make products to cater to all those needs. So learning your customer is very essential, again, because in the beginning when I started, I was just making products to see, oh, will this sell, will this sell? I don't really have no sense of direction. Um, what my customer needed. I think that's a very, 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 very important thing to learn and understand and find. Um, most of the time they're gonna find you when it's on social media, so hashtags is a very essential part. TikTok is a search engine. You could put anything like uh, creams for dark circles under eyes and you'll literally get like a thousand businesses that sell things like that because they use the hashtag so definitely your customer will find you you just have to make sure you are posting the right content that is geared towards them to catch their attention next up oh that brings me into posting informational videos and um, not just posting pictures of your products I've learned that I did that in the beginning Instagram post and just posting nice little pictures you know got the products sitting next to each other lighting all that stuff nobody wants to see that they want to see lifestyle now they want to see what the product is gonna do for them. How's it gonna make their skin feel? How's it gonna, you know, make their skin look? And I'm just talking based on what I sell, whether it's clothes, you know, they don't wanna just see it hung on a hanger. They want you to try it on, do try hauls, like, bring, you know, lifestyle. Uh, do a day in the life wearing the, pro the, the outfits that you sell, like, things like that. Don't just post the product. I think I'm gonna have to film you from here because my camera literally keeps turning off um, because the dashboard is too hot. It's like 90 degrees outside, so we're gonna be close up and personal. I do a lot more informational videos. I am trying to incorporate a lot more lifestyle. I do want to film a like get ready with me morning or nighttime routine. I'll probably put this on a channel and have like some of it on TikTok. So next up we have sales goals. Guys, you want to make sure you are creating sales goals, not just like winging it. When I started in the beginning, I had no type of direction either. I was just like, oh, if I make a sale, I make a sale. Like, and just jot it down like, ooh, no. You want to break it down to like how much, um, how much orders you want to get in a day how much are those orders going to be so that's pretty much like average dollar sale do you want to make like seventy dollars per order you got to break it down like that how much orders do you want per hour the day whatever works well for you do your research you really do want to have goals for those type of things i'm telling you because you can see it you can when you can visually see something you know and you tell yourself this is what you want to accomplish when you see it you'll put it into fruition and it'll actually happen i'm telling you it works don't just wing it guys make sure you're writing sales goals for down the month well you actually you want to start with the year you want to do quarterly sales you want to do um which is like every three months you want to do monthly weekly and daily literally hourly break it down <laughs> like be really precise break it down and you'll basically just learn to execute it and make those goals look at your analytics on your website and just see the areas that you need to improve on how much um average sales are you getting the dollar amount how many people are abandoning their checkout carts to kind of see what the problem is and what's not allowing the customer to actually purchase with you so you can see that base i use shopify and it kind of tells you all those type of things where your customers even come from google social media tiktok it like literally goes in depth so which brings me to my next topic looking at your analytics guys analytics are there for a reason make sure you are looking guys look at it it literally tells you everything literally what i just said it shows you where your customers are coming from mine will tell you if they came from tiktok instagram google whatever like make sure you're looking at that it shows you the sales um obviously of what you've made when customers even shop with you, it tells you how much times they viewed your website before they even like transition into a paying customer. If you want a separate video on that, I can go more in depth. I don't want, because analytics is like a whole different topic. Let me know down below in the comments if you want a more in detail video on analytics. Next up, we have hold yourself accountable for all your tasks. So I created a to-do list. The first thing I wake up, I try guys, I try not to, I try to practice not going straight on my phone but when I wake up and get my day started, um, shower, brush my teeth, you know, all the good stuff, I then take up my little to-do book and I basically make a to-do list for every single day. I find myself, if I write it down, I'm able to knock out each task because I'm able to see it and know like, oh, hey, I did this, you know, check it off, check it off. I'm telling you, it's a life changer. You will get a lot more stuff done versus you just storing everything in your head. Like today, 
I think I have one other thing to do and it's 2 o'clock so like I'm doing good. One of them was to film this video and look at me getting it done. So yes, you definitely want to do that and hold yourself accountable literally because the next day I always look at what I did for the day prior and what I didn't complete and then whatever I didn't complete for the day before I added onto the list for the next day so I hold myself accountable like you need to get this done girl like you're slacking the last one I have here written oh actually we went over that engage with your customers and following does see I didn't <laughs> I got ahead of myself and talked about that in the beginning um so yeah I don't know what else to talk about but pretty much this video was because I basically spoke to people on TikTok and they were asking me all type of business questions so I was like you know what let me just start my YouTube channel which I already had but it was for another niche so I deleted all the videos and I'm like let me cater to you guys and drop the gems and knowledge that I do have and I learned on my process of owning a business so yes this pretty much all these things that I've discussed literally has helped me I believe in the month of June I will probably post it here so you guys can see in four days guys I was so shook I was like what so yes all these things that I have explained in this video I literally took it to law and followed each single things I might might have left out you know just a little low low because I can't remember but these were like the core things that helped me guys let me know what other videos y'all want so I can help like people's like oh you should do an ebook you should like do mentorship I was like whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. I don't know about mentorship I don't know if I'm a mentor like let's not do all that but I will definitely answer any questions make videos for you guys um, on any topics you guys want as long as I can help I will help no gatekeeping around here we don't do that we want to see everyone grow and prosper and be successful um, so yeah stick it out on this journey with me of my business and it growing and me guys helping you again let me know what you want to see thank you guys for watching thank you for subscribing to my channel and i will see you in the next video